good day. I'm Stacey Ann Smith, and this is your GIS News for September 13. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller is again putting the issue of child abuse under the spotlight, declaring that parents needed to protect their children from the heinous act. You did not bring them in the world to just leave them to the will of anyone they come in contact with because too many of our children on a daily basis are being abused in this country. I want for the parents not to cover up or hide. Anyone that abuses a child should face the full brunt of the law in this country. The Prime Minister was speaking Wednesday at a handing over ceremony for a new basic school to accommodate 150 students in Trenchtown. It was built by the National Housing Trust to complement the 252-unit Paradise Court apartment complex. Built at a cost of $27 million, the six-classroom school includes an administrative office, kitchen, restrooms, sick bay, dining area, and an outside play area. More than 7,000 young people are set to benefit from an expansion of the Citizen Security and Justice Program established to reduce and prevent the incidence of crime and violence through social intervention initiatives. CSJP2 will be extending its reach to an additional 11 communities, courtesy of a $1.04 billion grant from the Government of the United Kingdom. The Finance Ministry signed the financing agreement with the Inter-American Development Bank earlier this week, which will allow for the funds to be allocated over the next 24 months. The contribution at this time is, 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 is very timely because we face um, an evolving threat of crime in Jamaica and a lot of it cannot be successfully fought with just policing alone. The Labour and Social Security Ministry has launched a campaign to motivate students to attend school regularly. The School We Say campaign falls under the Program of Advancement Through Health and Education path and is specifically tailored to ensure that youngsters enrolled in that program continue to meet the requirements for accessing benefits. It will be implemented through a series of island-wide school tours during the academic year. We have come again to reaffirm the commitment to education as the only true means of breaking the cycle of poverty and achieving the goals established in our development roadmap, Vision 2030. The Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation KSAC says its initiative to collect unpaid trade license fees from downtown businesses is bearing fruit. On September 3, the KSAC and Tax Administration Jamaica began a drive to increase the collection of trade license fees from the current $10 million per year to $75 million annually. Mayor of Kingston, Councillor Angela Brown-Burke, says $1.5 million was collected in just the first week of the initiative, compared to the $260,000 collected in July. So far, the response is positive. Assessments are currently underway and our team will be working assiduously to, hope to ensure compliance over the next couple of weeks or months, if required. And finally, Tivoli Gardens residents will soon have improved sanitary facilities, as Cabinet has approved a $70 million contract to effect the development. Minister with Responsibility for Information, Senator Sandria Faulkner, announced Wednesday that the project was being funded through a grant from the Caribbean Development Bank. There is an urgent need to address the poor conditions under which residents live as due to the runoff from the existing facilities. They have had to suffer with persistent bad odor and unhygienic conditions. The work will include the demolition of structurally unsound sanitation blocks. In their space, 51 new well-ventilated structures equipped with water closets will be built and new manholes constructed. The new blocks will also be connected to the existing sewer system. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Thank you for watching.